As we get closer to the national championship game, the city of purple and gold is turning into a sea of red as UGA fans have been out and about in Los Angeles. Well, Atlanta News first anchor Alan Devlin spent the day with fans. He joins us live now from Los Angeles. Alan, the fans are so ramped up for this. Yeah, you know, Tori, it is not hard to find UGA fans right now. You might think, oh, yeah, we are hundreds of miles away from Athens, but you couldn't tell just by walking around Los Angeles this weekend. Take a look at some of this video we've shot here out through all out the day. We've been all over L.A., some iconic spots like Santa Monica Pier. We've been all up and down Hollywood, Rodeo Drive. You name it, we've been there, and you name it, so are the UGA fans. They're right there with us along the way, getting hyped up, getting ready for this game, taking the next couple of days to soak in all of what L.A. has to offer. Many of them have never been here before. And, of course, what better reason to show up than to see your UGA dogs potentially be the first team in playoff history to go back-to-back -back in the national championship. We spoke to some of those UGA fans today. Here, take a listen to what they had to say about the upcoming game. Uh, currently living in St. Louis, but I, I am a Georgia grad. Uh, lived in Atlanta for a bit and brought the whole family out for the game. Went to the Peach Bowl, and I was by the time that was done, I was just relieved. Um, and I said, "All right, you know, you've you're, you've done it. You've gone this far. You've got to go all the way." It's gonna be wild. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Go dogs. Yeah, a lot of fun, a whole lot of fun in UGA uh, here in L.A. from UGA fans, again, all over the place. And you heard some of the spots they've been coming from. Yeah, sure, Athens is one of them. Many of them, of course, went to UGA. But if you're from Georgia, if you're in Atlanta right now, you know you don't have to be an alum to be a dog out in Georgia. So from all over the country, they are right here. This is the centerpiece for UGA right now on the West Coast. And they're hoping that come Monday they will be headed back home wherever they're going to Heads held high as repeat national champion. So we'll have to wait and see two more days, Tori, until it all goes down in SoFi Stadium. Right now, we're live in Los Angeles. Alan Devlin, Atlanta News First.